The resistance of the wire is given by rho L over A. Substituting values, we get a resistance of 1.39 ohms. The potential difference between X and Y is given by the potential divider rule, the resistance across XY divided by total resistance, which include the internal resistance of the battery multiplied by the EMF of the battery. So we get the potential difference between X and Y as 2 volts. The potential difference per unit length, therefore, uh, will be given by the potential difference divided by total length, which is 1.67 volts per meter. Without cell C, potential difference across XY is 2 volts. With cell C, since the maximum potential difference across cell C is 1.5 volts, then the potential difference between X and Y must be less than 1.5 volts. This potential difference is given by the current through X and Y multiplied by the res resistance between X and Y, and this must be less than 1.5 volts. Hence, the current IXY must be less than the current through the battery, and the current through the cell C must flow from X to C to Y. Let the position be P. The potential difference across XP is given by the resistance or the length between uh, X and P multiplied by the resistance per unit length. So that gives us the length of 0 0.9 meters. The strategy is to make the potential difference between X and Y to be as close to 1.5 volts as possible when cell C is not connected. So possible ways to modify the circuit is by adding a resistor in series with XY, so around here, or to use a thicker resistance wire of the same material to reduce the total resistance of the wire uh, XY.